California Senator and presidential hopeful Kamala Harris says the issue is clear. This president and his administration engaged in obstruction of justice, I believe Congress should take the steps towards impeachment. Bay Area Congressman Eric Swalwell, who's also running for president, seems undecided. I don't think we've gotten farther away from impeachment after seeing this report. He's been found to be a double-digit obstructor by Bob Mueller. Congress has a responsibility to make sure no one is above the law. And the Speaker of the House, who will ultimately decide whether to call an impeachment vote, warns about the dangers of pursuing that. I do believe that impeachment is one of the most divisive forces, uh, paths that we could go down to in our country. But if the facts, the path of fi fact finding takes us there, we have no choice. Pelosi says Congress needs the special counsel's full unedited report to make its decision. Impeachment proceedings would begin in the U.S. House of Representatives, and even if the Democratic-controlled House votes to impeach President Trump, a trial would then have to take place in the Republican-controlled Senate to remove President Trump from office. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, another presidential candidate, worries too much focus on the Mueller report could cost Democrats come election time. What I worry about is that works to Trump's advantage. President Trump tweeted he'll ask the Supreme Court to intervene if Congress tries to impeach him. But in 1993, the Supreme Court ruled unanimously that the power of impeachment lies solely with Congress. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.